Hey guys, Tammy Treyer, TreyerWilderness.com. I wanted to jump on here today and just do a quick video with you guys. Um, not this Friday, but the Friday before, uh, we had a fire start about 40 minutes from us and it continued to burn pretty rapidly. It's gone through 1,280 acres and it's the type of fire that if it hits the ridge and starts heading this direction with the winds that we've been having, it won't be good and there's a lot of people that it'll affect as well as everybody else in California, Oregon, Washington, Montana and the other states that are affected right now. And um, we have smoke cover. You can see it back here behind me the trees there. I'm going to actually put a picture in here so you can see what it normally looks like, this view looks like. Um, we have extreme smoke cover and uh, they have announced that today will probably be hazardous air conditions in our area. Um, it's just really concerning. Um, I wanted to get on here and do this video because a couple days ago the mountain boy and I went to town to get feed for the animals and I can't tell you how many people were totally unaware of the fires that are burning in our area, uh, especially the one that I mentioned. There was a woman I met that lived less than 20 minutes from the fire, and she had absolutely no clue about it. And that really scares me. I hate to see people with their head in the sand. Um, this uh, Fires are not something to mess around with. They move fast. They create their own conditions. Um, it's just really scary. Um, Last Friday, we actually packed all of our essentials that we would need for camp. You, many of you know we lived in an 8 foot by 14 foot canvas wall tent and for eight and a half months and built our home. And that's what we gathered. We gathered everything we would need, all of the essentials, to set up camp as well as build, our, build from the ground up again. We've done it once. We can do it again. You know, we have some valuables and things that, you know, we wouldn't want to leave behind, but our focus wasn't there. And the things that are of value to us suddenly became of little value. When you really look at the big picture, we are surrounded by tall timbers and um, it's nothing but forest out here. And uh, it, it can be scary. And I want to point out to people to be prepared. Uh, we have a website if you're in Idaho or you have people that family that live in Idaho and you want to keep track of things, you can go to idahofireinfo.blogspot.com and keep track of things there. But I encourage you, if you're in a state that has fires, connect with your uh, county officials and um, be sure to f know how to keep track of where the fires are. We have another a phone number that can be utilized um, to, to keep track of things. They have evacuation numbers. Uh, I just found out for Idaho that you can um, text message and put in your zip code and they will keep you posted if there's evacuations in your area. You know, because we don't leave the woods much, much, so it's really important for us to stay on top of things. And even for you folks in town, you know, um, so many are affected. Uh, I have friends, Melissa K. Norris um, in Washington, my friend Charlie Cook in uh, Oregon. I have a friend, Chris, up in Canada, and there are 30 homes burned around her. And they're evacuating in, in very uh, scary situations where there's fire on either side of the road. So it's scary stuff. And I really want to encourage you folks to be smart. And not only be smart, but be prepared. You know, don't just have your your family memorabilia and, uh, sitting by the door and, and not have food and water and clothing for your family. Um, please be prepared. Please think of the essentials that you're going to need because if you need to evacuate your home, you may not have a place to go specifically and you may need to be outside. So please, you know, be prepared. Think of these things and think of your, you know, if you're taking pets with you, you know, we have our two dogs. They go with us wherever we go. You know, you need food. You need their 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 bowls. You need you need collars and leashes because you're going to be, uh, you know, in spots where it could be scary situations. So, you know, don't 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 sit there and not think of these things. And don't think that you're unaffected because it could very quickly change. The winds have been turning fires out here. It's just really scary times and. We have our prayer warriors on it, praying for rain and just praying for everybody. And, you know, I'm, we're, our prayers are with everybody out there that are affected and these uh, firefighters that are just 
putting it all out there, you know. So, you know, think of these things. Another thing to think about when you do have to leave, if anything, grab your important papers, you know, the ones that maybe you have in a fire safe because you those are essentials. You will need those, you know, and, um, you know, we have two trailers loaded down, two trucks ready to go, and, and the car with the dogs in it and, and the mountain boys. So, you know, we're, we're, we're prepared and we may be looked upon as totally crazy for being this prepared, but I would rather be prepared than incinerated. So I just wanted to jump on here and put this out here so that people are thinking and are also paying attention. Please pay attention. If you are in a state with fires, be, be on alert because all it takes is one fool to throw out a cigarette butt in these dry grasses and these dry conditions and uh, it's just it's really scary so please uh, this is from my heart I'm really concerned for people when I ran into three people just in a short time out that had no clue there was even a fire burning so please folks stay prepared stay alert stay aware and take care of your family and yourselves and till next video you guys take care and stay safe God bless